what I want to talk about a little bit is, is something I think we'll start doing on diggers. Uh, I think we'll call it drag hacks, right? Life hacks help with shortcuts. This will be drag hacks, things that can help you racetrack, maybe off the racetrack. But uh, one item that I got recently from VP, and you can order it from their website, is this doodad right here. And I had this out for the first time at Kinston, and it was great. Saved a lot of mess because before I had this guy on, which just lets you control the flow of your fuel going into your tank, you know, I have funnel and I've got kind of this setup, which is pretty standard uh, with the hose, but that can be hard to kind of finagle the hose and down in the funnel and wants to flip out, especially when you're doing it on your own. So I found this really handy to be able to hold this with one hand, get it up, and then control the flow using this guy. And you can order one, I think they've got four packs, so pretty slick, just fits right into the top of your uh, cap here if you've got standard kind of VP jug. Been running M1 all season from VP, and it's been working great for me. Something I do, kind of learning this season, talking to some other drivers who use and run methanol in their engine. Uh, something I've, you know, all, all the racing I've been around my entire life, been running gas. But this was the first time I was gonna be running alcohol in an engine. So I, I dove in, did some research, tried to learn what I can about all the things you need to do when running alcohol. And one thing about alcohol, it could be quite corrosive as it sits in pieces, aluminum, uh, hosing all of the parts in your engine that the fuel will sit in when it's not running. It's not something you want to leave the alcohol in your fuel system long term. When you're running for the day, uh, maybe even overnight the next day, okay. But storing the car between races, this is what I've been doing. I found it's been a really easy way to do it. Heard this tip from other guys, kind of found this out and trying to get a handle on my routine as well. But that is running uh, just gasoline through the fuel system when you're done racing and you're gonna store the vehicle. So that's what I do at the end of a race when I know car's going home, we're not gonna be running for a bit. I will, I will drain the methanol from the fuel system. I'll drain it out of the tank. Then I'll refill the tank about a quarter to a half full with gasoline. And I've just been using 93 octane from the pump, pump gas and I will run that through and run the engine for just a very short period of time so that it fills the bowls of the carburetor, wash down some of the cylinder walls, just to get gasoline into the fuel system and all of the parts of the engine so that when it's sitting, it's sitting with gasoline and not alcohol. And I found that's been working well for me this season. That's been my routine. That's probably what I'll continue to do. It also helps when warming up the car. You may hear about alcohol runs cooler. So in warming up the car, when you're getting the car out, starting the day of racing, uh, alcohol, the, the engine will consume a much larger volume of alcohol fuel as it runs. So you'll run through a lot of alcohol, you drink probably half a tank trying to get the car up to an operating, good operating temperature before going to make your first run. Well, it's a lot of alcohol you're burning. Much better to burn some gas, and gas will also help warm up the car's engine faster than the alcohol, which tends to have more of a cooling property to it. So uh, that's been working well too. Get the car out, get it up on jack stands, get it warmed up. I warm it up on the gasoline for a little bit. And then usually at that point, I've only got a small amount in the tank anyhow, and I'll run it out to get it good and warm on the gas, then just refill the tank with alcohol, run that for a little bit. And you can hear the change in the engine as it goes from the blubbery gasoline, which you know, because I'm running it through an alcohol carb, I know guys will get an alcohol carburetor and they'll get a gas carburetor and they just kind of swap carbs for a bit. Uh, I'm not, I have not been doing that. So knowing that alcohol moves almost probably double the volume of gasoline, it runs ultra fat, ultra rich. And you, you'll see it like when I started up, blows a bunch of rich fuel smoke out of the headers. It's, it's, gonna run super rich and blubbery and nasty. It's not happening because it's not supposed to run uh, on gas. It's not set for that in the carburetor. And, and so that's why it's, it's not happy that way. But uh, it'll 
easily clean right out, clear right out once it starts seeing the alcohol and then the car's good and warm and you're good to go for the rest of the day. So that's just a little bit of what my routine's been. Maybe that'll help you out. Thought I would share. That's all.